Normally, origin stories are about tall, handsome guys struggling with the burden of being handed even more power. No wonder men are so desperate to hold onto their power. As a man speaking authoritatively, you are going to listen to me and you are going to believe me. If I were a rich white dude, I'd kill everybody just to get away with it. I'd punch you if men didn't sexualize women fighting. Scooby what? You mean this vehicle? For my bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you put Scooby Doo down. You leave him alone. You can't do this to Scooby. Whenever a girl needs money, guy sells something and then blackmails the girl into dating him for it. And the Nobel Peace Prize goes to the first woman and the first person of color to direct a Star Wars film. We're in 2024 now, and I think uh, it's about time that we had a woman. I like to make men uncomfortable. I enjoy <laughs> making men uncomfortable. <laughs> to be able to look into the eyes of a man and say, I am here to bring something that makes you uncomfortable, and it should make you uncomfortable, because you need to change your attitude. And I can't wait to see what writer gets picked to be Silk? <laughs> I thought you were going to say something different. You really laid it on them. Like, I have a vagina. Deal with it. Girls rule. Women are funny. Get over it. Uh, I am a woman. I am a funny woman. We are all talented, funny, powerful women. Girls rule. Women are funny. Get over yourself. Seriously. We are out here. It's going to happen. Deal with it. I'm sorry you're not getting laid. It's not about you. Move on. And then say, my vagina a lot. Like, I have a vagina. Deal with it. Huh. Oh my god, that wasn't really all that funny. That's weird. Um, I'm a storyteller and an activist. Guided by my activism and every single piece of work that I've ever created has a piece of activism in it. I'm not a trained filmmaker. Many, many, many LGBTQIA characters. They've been really open to exploring queer stories. Let's have these two characters kiss. Let's, in the background, this, like I was just, wherever I could, just basically adding queerness to like. The As a mother of, of two queer children, actually. To bring something that makes you uncomfortable, and it should make you uncomfortable. Gender non-conforming characters. Transgender child and one pansexual child. Narratives in which Gay characters. Our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda. And so like I, I feel like you need to change your attitude. Force behaviors. Can you imagine how many lives is this is gonna be saving? Kids, you know, young queer folk. <laughs> Hello, beta testers. I have a vagina, deal with it. This I have a vagina, deal with it lady is a localizer or anime translator. Here, they are responding to criticism over adaptation inconsistencies. This was their response to what is now a landfill of egregious examples of anime translators or localizers injecting their woke LGBT plus cringe when nothing of the sort was originally mentioned. It's not gonna bite. How old are you? 18. Okay, good, you sure? Because uh, Uncle Jimmy doesn't need to do time. With overwhelming examples that effortlessly spotlight incorrect propaganda-laden translations, these people clearly don't deserve these jobs. And the world owes its thanks to the nerds, the brave fans screenshotting, recording, and holding on to this stuff until people are ready to see it. And thanks to the signal boosters as well, who are actually getting its Japanese attention. The glorious lists of contradictions and hypocrisy on full display for all to see. Like and comment on this video if you'd like me to make a whole video just reading the inaccurate translations. Hilariously, after a bit of back and forth online with this I have a vagina deal with it lady, it was sussed out that these people are not skilled, talented, or experienced by their own foolish admission. And with how oh, hoity toity the beliefs of some of these freaking psychos are, it's it's a wonder they managed to hobble on with these jobs this damn long, naturally. 
The jobs were so poorly done that instantly they're being granted to AI instead. And just like in our industry, that we're inadvertently beta testing for because nothing launches complete these days, fans are forced to rejoice because anything would be better than the identity-obsessed, censor-happy lunatics who exclude and call it inclusion. On this channel, I try my best to quickly frame the hilarious conditioning that lacks subtlety because even if the losers making the media can understand it, they're too lazy to put in the effort. In gaming, I try to show people how two-faced and hypocritical these biased games journalists and shills are, even coverage of things like leaks, man, jeez, people with a hand so far up in them and they're spreading cheeks ever wider to make sure they maintain that access. I show you how offended an attractive woman makes these people and go further in highlighting other shills and industry bot bodies that will defend these disgusting kid focused practices to their dying breath, no matter how transparently Redfall for spoken or sweet baby it all is. I don't need to describe the nerds fighting because we're all low-key a part of that too by what we're making sure we don't fund. But it should come as no surprise that of course, anime under fire too. The most tragic loss of all. Gamers do not care about identity politics. Some. What you mean my name was on the flight logs, Lee? The great news is these people are being recognized the way that they deserve to be recognized. Like this foolish attempt at taking down Tekken for not being diverse enough. That's crazy because I think it's fine just the way it is. And that Japan shouldn't listen to lonely tourist people. Piggies desperate to destroy after TV, after movies, after comics, after video games, now anime. I don't think they should be allowed to. We don't demand diversity. If you want to explore that, fine. What we want you to do is pursue your vision uncompromised. And of course, we'd love a translation that wasn't done by someone super sensitive and needing to brainwash people to their cult. They can't coexist. They need to try to brainwash, to reprogram, redefine. But the only thing they're good at is regressing. It's sad watching people try and fail to manipulate people using someone's death. And it's even sadder watching people try to set shills straight, not understanding they're talking to a brand. So I hope my analogy about burnt food puts it succinctly. If you paid for edible food and it came out burnt, critique is more than earned. They can come out of the kitchen and tell you how hard cooking is and how unless you a chef, you really don't understand what's going on back there. They can tell you that somebody died preparing this burnt food that they brought out to you. But you know what? It doesn't change. The fact that the food burnt. Banning the room, just like all of you. <laughs> You're really accusing us of something here. It's almost like the down thumbed saying, it. Oh, whoops. It's, it's almost like this person is saying, You guys were the ones that tied that noose around that guy's neck. You're the ones that handed him that gun. You're the ones handing him them toast, okay? The toaster that wasn't the bathtub? Yeah. I believe I can fly. Worst video game peripheral! The Titanic submarine ah! knocks it out of the beta testing on this must have been, I can't imagine the crunch! Oh, I've been looking for another one of me to beat the shit out of. <laughs> Dad, love you. <laughs> 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 
if anything I do or say is labeled toxic masculinity. I'll endeavor to use their words when deconstructing the pussies enjoying a free ride in this industry intentionally and gleefully vandalizing what worked before they got attached to it. The same people calling this woman beautifully captured and thrown into the upcoming game Stellar Blade, quote, unappealing, end quote. Homie, Patna, we celebrate and applaud you on your desires in your lifestyle, but want you to recognize maybe the majority audience for a lot of these video games are heterosexual men. Potentially, there is a deviation between your lifestyle and how we get down. So what is unrealistic, dated, distracting, not in a good way, hyper-proportioned, something or another, old or from a bygone era, from the neck down, problematic or unappealing to you is different to us. So hopefully with this context to bring everybody onto the same page, we can start seeing things clearly. Digital Foundry Boy here praising for Spoken, a game that everyone objectively hates. Please recognize these tourists within this industry, desperate to cancel anything that is not as ugly as what their cult has decided everything should be, these people are opposite to us. If they hate it, we love it. I am delighted that the shills trying to sway the narrative and protect their access are showing how incapable of being objective they are just like with Hogwarts Legacy, in a time where AI will provide much more than a dishonest voice desperately begging and incessantly editing out reality to reinforce delusion. If I am made a martyr for honesty, remember what they do allow around here. If you see how sad people occasionally come into my streams to be just embarrassing themselves with their pants around their ankles, pissing in the pool, garbage, you can probably imagine how cringe it gets behind the scenes for the sticks and stones people regard my words as. If you've watched anyone like Asmund Gold Signal Boost or were paying attention during Hogwarts Legacy, you already know the kind of response to expect out of these people. But it'll never not be worth it simply to capture how pathetic and hypocritical some of these sad motherfuckers willing to ignore common sense are, especially with the sadness of people taking the time to try to break it down in ways that they can understand. But what they need to understand is we're not talking to a man, but a wannabe brand. Their beliefs are decided for them their allegiances sold to not even the highest bidder, but just some fuck, you know, maybe they can get like a cool jacket or a toaster out of it. And if they don't speak on your behalf as, as time rolls on, you should find someone who does and support them in 2024. I think it's going to be a funny year where you and I can just laugh at some things. If people don't, don't break in with a knife talking about, oh, <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you guys are so well adjusted. Uh, uh, Stellar Blades Eve is unappealing, man. Jeez. And if you push hard enough, you might have another Hogwarts Legacy situation on your hands. Funimation has come under, let's call it criticism oh, for criticism. how they choose to adapt their scripts. Oh, for like a unnecessary of shows, hate. Scripts oh, for like a unnecessary of hate. In this clip, the same I have a vagina deal with it, her words entity attempts to cut off the guy before he can even ask his question properly. They're well aware that their best option is to change the narrative and silence dissent or opposition. Ironically, the hate she calls unnecessary is deserved when the very job you're tasked with is impossible for you to do 
by your own admission, because of the necessity to inject irrelevant nonsense. Another nightmare at a school by mentally unstable, a literal earthquake at the very top of the year. The world is so desperate to divide us, it seems. But you're not only smarter, beta tester. You're apparently expected to be the bigger person, because if we matched them by stooping to their level and uncorking the mouth full of Call of Duty lobby nonsense that we've just been desperate to get right back out, our only regret would be not buying stock in ropes and blades. I love you. Like and subscribe for more. But no matter how low you feel, be thankful that you're not lacking self-awareness like these people do. If I'm making misogynists and Nazis angry, then I'm doing all right. <laughs> we don't, I mean, honestly, we don't want them associated with our fandom. They are not representative of us. Nobody cares. Just shut the fuck up. You're part of a hate mob with literal Nazis. Nazi is whenever you disagree with her. Like, not see her point of view. I do think the character model was actually, like, very distracting in not a good way. Because, like, with the camera angles chosen, it just felt like... This game seems like a, a game that came out in, like, 002 in terms of its, you know, like, character design. It's, like, a bit old and, and not flattering, I don't think, for a modern audience. In comparison to something like Forspoken, which has, you know, uh, I mean, yes, it has a much more realistic looking character designs. Uh, it's not these hyper proportioned uh, something or another. Gatekeeping your hobby from out of touch bozos that don't know what they're talking about because they're freshmen. Whose ideas for changes would be to the detriment and fuck the health, well-being and potential future of your hobby acceptable don't let them convince you it's bad because if you keep this up more kyle's will wake up before you go go